Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see, I had to record this game. This guy paused the game after he scored on me, and all he wanted to do was run the ball. So right here, we're just going to show you. Um, basically, I'm playing against a guy that's rage quitting two days before Christmas, and it's fine. But you can see, you're going to see here, he uh, literally desynced me right when. The game was about to end. Um, he knew he had no chance, and then he's going to desync me. So he's talking a lot of trash right now on his mic, um, saying that what I can't stop his run or something like that, and and which is kind of true in the beginning. You know, I I, I couldn't stop his run, um, and then I started. Shoot, moving to a different formation. As you can see here, I don't have both my enforcers out. I, the only guy I had X Factor was Tillman, and Dickerson's gonna run it in for a touchdown. Um, this was my fault because it's just a bad adjustment on me. I should have called a timeout, um, put in my players, and then he's gonna pause the game, which is fine. Um, and I want to report him because I knew he was one of those guys that I used to play before that would desync me, and I just forgot his username when I first played him so yeah I'm reporting him um, just for like desyncing the game I don't really care if you rage at all um, that's not really my issue um, he can do really whatever he wants it doesn't really affect me too much so um, yeah so after this we're just gonna jump right into the gameplay as soon as he turns it up um, Okay, so yeah, he scores, and I'm just adjusting my defense um, after this play. So he tried to go for go for two on the first time, and he awfully missed because he threw right at me. Um, so over here, you know, I'm not really sure what he was trying to play on defense, but you know, more of the same. He put on his mic, try to tr trash talk and all that, and it's fine, you know. Like you know, Madden 20 this year is very frustrating to play. I understand why people rage. Um, I got nothing wrong with that, you know. If you want to rage, um, I, everybody rages. If we're being honest, like I even rage so sometimes. I'll even admit myself. And I got nothing wrong with raging at Madden, you know. Um, it's a terrible game this year. Um, how people can get away with so many things, but. We love the game, and we're going to play it, and there's just really nothing that we can do, you know? So, right there, I thought Y was open, but I didn't want to risk it, so I just ran off with Mahomes, and then, you know, just try to figure out what he was doing. Um, I know he's in the cover three sky now, so that confirmed that. I wasn't sure the first snap, so I had to confirm that. Um... So yeah, I'm running my gun tight offset, one of my favorite formations in the game. And over here, I thought I could throw it over here, but um, his corner and his safety got there in time. I don't know if it was necessarily a pick, but it was close. You know? Right here, Saints out. I love this play. Um, this is one of my first favorite plays when I first started playing Madden. Um, the guy named Throne, if you guys ever know who he is, he introduced this play to me. I bought his playbook, and this is one of the, So that corner route right there was supposed to get open, right? But his safety backed it off because I thought he was going to play the seam flat so I would have enough space to throw it. But I think he... That, that safety played a cloud flat, so that's why I wasn't really able to throw that. So normally it's a, it's a throw every single time that I would make. Um... This time it's not. I know I can get this off, so I'm going on a fourth. And you can say I'm crazy, but right here, I'm looking at RB. He left him wide open, and I need to just throw a laser. So now we got out of the way. Um, you know, I'm just trying to. I know he's staying in cover three sky, and all I gotta do is literally try to find a way to get him out of it. And if you want to stay in cover three sky the whole game, I don't blame him. It's a very good formation, but. There are ways around to beat it, and you gotta be careful. You know? So, right here, I'm running the ball. 
Um, to see what he's doing again. He's still in cover three sky. Okay, I don't think it's his cover three sky stock setup. He's probably using an ebook of some sort, um, changing some things around, using a deep blue, which I recommend you not because you can get bombed real easily. Um, but this guy wants to do it, so if it if it if it works, it works, you know. But. I know I found a way to beat it, so you'll see this, this later one. in the video. Um, so yeah, sooner or later I'm going to motion over to tight offset and just bomb him. And this is a new play that I learned, Shake Spot. Saints Shake Spot, I think it's called. And basically what I'm doing is just cover three beating him. I know he's using the safe, safety, so I'm going to streak that side he's using the safety. And I'm just gonna bomb him. So, as you can see here, he's using the middle and he forgot to guard the deep. So, that safety, if it was a CPU, would have played that. But because he didn't, you know, he wanted to do that. So, right here, I'm just doing my substitutions. Um, I realized that I wasn't in regular package for the Y off trips and I needed to be in there. So, I paused the game. He got mad at me. He thought that. I paused the game because I scored, um, that was not the case, I was clearly trying to do substitutions, but, you know, I didn't have a mic on, so I couldn't really talk to him. So, 14-13, so this is where he gets really angry. Um, I blow up his run here, you'll see this in a moment. Um, he has Hester, trying to return this, and, I don't know, like, does Hester not fumble? Because I can't get him to fumble somehow. Um, he doesn't even have the X-Factor where he doesn't fumble, but it's really hard to get him to fumble. But right here, he wants to go run the ball again, which is fine, because it works for him all game, so I don't blame him for running the ball. You know, so I'm, I'm basically trying to blow up the run. Um, right here, this is a bad setup for the run, but luckily, I was able to get there in time. And he gained a few yards there, which is fine. He gained one yard. And then, this is where I really stop him. This play right here, which I'm really proud of, actually. So, um, right here, he's trying to run the ball again. I know it. So, Derwin James puts a hit on him. And, you know, he's he realizes that it's third and six. And when you get guys that run the ball to pass, it is very hilarious to watch. Like, right now, I'm lit having the time of my life right now. So, he's trying to pass. I'm letting him pass, you know. So, and then you see he has the worst pocket presence because Lamar Jackson could have literally threw the ball away right there. But he wanted to run on to the side. Now, it's a good call on him that he made it, but if he wouldn't have made that and he would have got stopped by Lawrence Taylor or someone like that, he probably would have got sacked, you know. So this is where he desyncs me, as you can see. Thank you guys for watching my channel. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Make sure to check out my other videos. I will be uploading more soon.